Hello everyone. The network you can see on your screen is the more detailed version of voltage series feedback connection that we have uh, already seen in the previous videos. As per the name indicates, the voltage term actually defines the connections on the output side. So here we are. The output of this network V0 is basically fed as input to the feedback amplifier and the term series actually defines the connection on the input side. The VF potential is in series with the input potential Vs. Now we already know that uh, if we have a voltage connection, voltage feedback connection on the output side, then output impedance is definitely going to decrease, right? Likewise, if we are having a series connection on the input side of the network, that means the input impedance, input impedance here is ZIF will definitely be going to increase. Likewise, ZOF will decrease. In this tutorial, we will try to develop the understanding of how basically this impedance, input impedance actually increases with series, series connection and uh, how this output impedance actually drops with uh, voltage type feedback. In addition, we will also study how the gain parameter is basically going to vary. And please don't get confused with this uh, amplifier circuitry. Actually, this is the AC equivalent of the transistor itself. So let us continue with the mathematical part. Now let's start with the gain calculation part first. Uh, suppose uh, if we have we haven't uh, provided any feedback path, then your VF will be equal to zero, and obviously the gain gain of the amplifier the amplifier this amplifier is having a gain equal to A, right? This gain will be simply V naught over V S. V naught is your the uh, output potential, and V S is the input potential supplied right and that will be equal to v naught over v i v i is the input potential at the input of the transistor now consider a case when feedback circuitry is introduced for now vf is not zero right at that time the v i will become equal to v s minus v f right one voltage we are getting from this side v s and uh, one voltage we are getting this is the negative potential that means the polarity of both the waves are in opposite directions or we can say 180 degrees out of phase so ultimately at mixer we get vi that is either sum of these two or subtraction of these two that depends on the polarity of wave now this vi actually acts as input to the this transistor amplifier and uh, output is definitely v0 so v0 will simply be equal to we can write it like uh, uh, the vi will get multiplied with gain a so this is our V0. Uh, let us just expand the values. Uh, we will substitute VI with VS minus VF multiply with A. Just expand the brackets so that we get V0 equal to AVS minus AVF. All right. Now we know that VF is the output potential of this feedback amplifier. Its input is V0 and gain is beta. So ultimately, uh, we can write Vf equals beta times V0, is it? So, I will substitute this thing here. So, this V0 will become equal to A Vs minus A beta V0. Now, just do some rearrangement of equation. We will move all the V0 values on one side, A beta V0 and uh, Vs will remain on the another side. Now from here we can see that uh, we have both the values, one input value and another one is the output value. Uh, basically we are trying to calculate the gain. So gain is nothing but output potential over input potential. So we will simply try to calculate this thing, we will try to obtain V0 over Vs from here. So this will become equal to A over 1 plus A beta simply. So that is my gain and uh, I can represent this gain as a of f. Thus, we can say that uh, for an amplifier with feedback, the gain is being reduced by a factor 1 plus a beta. That is why it is having better gain stability. Now, we will move on to calculating the effect on impedances, input and output impedances. Now we can see there are two impedances, input impedances mentioned over here, ZIF and ZI. ZI is the input impedance of the transistor and ZIF is the input impedance of the whole network. We can easily know the impedance ZI from here that is VI. VI is the potential developed across uh, these two terminals over 
आई आई बाई ओम्स लॉ सिंपली लाइक वाइज जेड आई एफ विल बी इन प्लेस ऑफ वी आई विल राइट वी एस वी एस ओवर एंड करंट विल रिमेन द सेम आई आई सो इफ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट जेड आई एफ वी मस्ट नो वी एस एंड आई आई एट लीस्ट वी शुड नो वी एस वैल्यू ओके सो टू कैलकुलेट वी एस विल यूज दिस इक्वेशन फर्स्ट जेड आई इफ वी कैन इजीली वर्क आउट दिस थिंग देन विल गेट टू नो वी एस वैल्यू and then we'll substitute it in this equation let us rewrite the value for zi zi will be uh, in place of vi i'll write vs minus vf over ii all right now vf can be further expanded further substituted with beta v not so i'll write vs minus in place of vf i'll write beta v not over ii now as we are calculating a parameter on the input side so i'll, I'll uh, substitute this thing this v not with some input parameter and this will be equal to v not equals a is the gain of the amplifier and uh, we are passing uh, uh, subjecting a voltage vi to it so this will become avi so i'll substitute this v not with avi so zi now becomes equal to vs minus beta a vi over i i now i think we can easily calculate the value of vs from this equation so vs will become equal to zi i i will get multiplied with zi plus beta a vi now i'll put this vs in zif equation zif is equal to i'll uh, substitute vs with zi i i plus beta a vi over i i now this equation can be rewritten as zi the i i will get cancelled out plus beta a vi over i i even uh, we can replace this vi over i i term that is uh, actually coming from this side this is zi right by ohms law so this will become zi plus beta a zi right or the final equation of uh, this zi f will become equal to i'll take this zi common from this equation zi multiply 1 plus beta multiply a right so this is the final input impedance value where you can see the zi uh, is the input impedance and without feedback and uh, zif is the input impedance with feedback now i can clearly observe that uh, the input impedance value zif is being scaled by a factor 1 plus beta a actually we are multiplying 1 plus beta a with zi so that is how uh, having a series connection actually raises the input impedance value by this factor 1 plus beta a now in similar way we can uh, work out the output impedance zof but before moving to the calculation part we have to make the few assumptions in this case like uh, we have to reduce this vs to equal to to be equal to zero that means we have to put a short circuit across these two terminals right and zl Uh, be acting as open circuit and we'll have to assume a voltage source at the output which is basically contributing all the currents in the network mathematically zof can be written as zof equals v not over i not where v not is nothing but the output potential uh, which we have assumed uh, to be contributing all the voltages and current in the network and uh, i not is the current which is actually flowing through z not and this i not we can write as uh, we are assuming this v not at higher potential and uh, this av i as at uh, lower potential so uh, this current will become equal to v not minus av i divided by the resistance z not now just like we were doing for input impedance part this time we need all the output terminal values uh, to be present in the equation so this vi needs to be replaced with output uh, equations or output terms and we know that this vi can be written uh, in terms of vs and vf vs minus vf but this time as uh, this potential is being short circuited the input potential vs is being short circuited uh, so its potential will be equal to zero only so if we reduce this to zero we are left with only minus of vf and uh, from the feedback amplifier the output of feedback amplifier we better know that vf is nothing but equal to beta v not 
so we can uh, rewrite this v not v i equals minus beta v naught. Now let us substitute this thing in the equation above, so that your current i naught will become equal to v naught minus minus becomes plus. So a beta v naught over z naught. Now just try to rearrange the equation, and uh, I'll uh, try to take v naught and i naught. In this arrangement on one side, so v naught I'll be taking common and uh, dividing by i naught. So this equation will become equal to z naught over one plus a beta. So this is the final feedback value, and uh, we can rewrite this thing as z of output f. That means the output feedback impedance. Now, from here, we can easily conclude that having a voltage feedback type arrangement uh, reduces the output impedance by a factor one plus a beta, the same amount by which the input impedance was being raised. In upcoming videos, we'll be discussing all the negative feedback amplifier circuitries. Till then, thank you and have a nice day.